Carter. Natalie Morales, the uh, co-host of uh, the Today Show, is in Rio, and she's kind enough to join us now. All right, separate fact from fiction, Natalie. Uh, where would you start with Rio? Well, I mean, I would start with progress. I mean, I, I have seen uh, that there has been a lot of progress. I mean, granted, there are still a lot of hurdles. We have a year to go, and uh, the infrastructure is and the construction is pretty much everywhere and, and still underway. Um, but the venues are coming along. Everybody here assures that they're on track, on time. The IOC president, Thomas Bach, was here meeting with the president of Brazil, Dilma Rousseff, today for the one year out. There's a ceremony this, this afternoon. Um, and, and he seems fairly confident now, which is a stark contrast to where we were a little over a year ago, where I think one of the vice presidents on the IOC said at the time that this was crisis mode and they had to send uh, a team here mm. to make sure that everything was going to be on schedule and on time. And I think there were, back then, even reports of possibly moving the games back to London. But that's not going to happen. You can be assured that things are happening here on the ground. Um, even the golf site, which... Um, you know, it's the first time in 112 years that golf is being brought back to the Olympics. We went out there and checked it out, and the grass is planted. It looks beautiful. So things are happening, and and I think there are a lot of scary headlines that we're reading, including the water quality tests and all of that. But, you know, they are monitoring the situation here. The World Health Organization today said, of course, they're, they're going to be doing some independent tests as well to make sure that things uh, test well enough for the athletes to be in the waters. All right, explain that to the audience, though. How contaminated is this water? What events will be held in these waters? Well, I mean, it's there. There are very many different events. I mean, obviously, there's the sailing, there's the canoeing, there's the tri marathon uh, swimming and triathlon swimming as well. So, the Associated Press did a, an independent study. They tested. Uh, I think they did took 37 samples of um, water from throughout some of the venues, uh, including the beaches. Copacabana Beach is where some of the triathlon swimming events are going to be. And their test came back, and it was it was a scary report. I mean, I read it and. And, and was flabbergasted, I think, as a lot of people were, that you know that, that they equated the tests with um, with raw sewage, with having um, uh, viruses and human bacteria in the water. So, um, you know, obviously, this is cause for concern, and they have been trying to clean up um, the waters for decades now. The Guanabara Bay area, which is where the sailing and the rowing is happening, is is a primary concern. That's where the sewage runs down from uh, the, the shanty towns and the hillsides directly into the water, which sounds very appetizing, yeah, I know. Yeah, everybody uh, in. But they've been trying for decades to clean it up, and, um, you know, they say they're going to have to put stopgap measures in place, including everything from barricades and barriers to keep that runoff from coming into the waters. But there will be testing continuously leading up to the events. And, uh, you know, everybody here, I think that that's the, the, the most concerning factor, I think, right now, is just making sure that they can get the water quality up to standard enough so that it's healthy enough for the athletes. Well, we survived Sochi. We can survive Rio. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, you know, and I remember in Athens, um, you know, right before the Athens Olympics, too. I mean, when I got there, they were still planting the trees at the Olympic Park. This is what happens, it seems, every Olympics. There are the scary stories. When we went to Sochi last year, you remember everything from, you know, watch how the government is spying on you. Hackers are going to take control of your computers. So you always hear these reports. But I will tell you, I was here for the World Cup last year. And Brazil really knows how to throw a party. And they do a great job at building ambiance and, and making it to such a festive occasion. So uh, I'm very confident. I mean, I'm half Brazilian, so I'm, I'm very proud to say I think the Brazilian people, they're very passionate. They are putting more than 110 percent behind this Olympics. They really want to show the world what they have to offer. So um, I, I, I'm I'm giving you a 100% a certification right now. You're going to see a spectacular show. <laughs> Natalie, great to talk to you. Uh, enjoy it there and safe travels. Thank you. Appreciate it. Say hi to Langdon for me. I'm a huge fan, too. Oh, oh there you go. Landon. Landon, love you. Do you want to say hello to Natalie Morales, Landon? Hi, Natalie. <laughs> Hi. I'm hey, a little I, nervous I, now. You, know, you, you really did so much for, for soccer in our country, so really appreciate all that you've done and just love you. Huge fan. All right. We'll see you in Rio. Thank you. All right. There you go. Natalie Morales, Today Show.